Jadon Sancho is keen to move back to Borussia Dortmund. And I don't bloody blame him. I don't bloody blame him. Big up SkySports.com. Jadon Sancho is keen to finalize a low move to, from Man United forward ahead of the Marbella training camp. So as you guys know, Bundesliga is in uh, winter break. They're about to go back into their fixtures this weekend, I think, or maybe next weekend. But that means Jadon Sancho is going to be able to finally escape the hell hole he's been in at Man United at the moment. Um, if you know, Jadon Sancho plays for Manchester United at the moment, but he had a bit of a falling out with our manager, Eric Ten Hag, to the point where Eric Ten Hag said, unless he apologizes, he's not going to be available for section again. Jadon Sancho doesn't think he needs to apologize, so they're at, at loggerheads, and then the manager basically banished him from the first team training. He's now training with the kids, hasn't kicked a first team ball for a very long time, and, you know, is basically wasting away on the sidelines. The club is obviously not happy about it because, you know, you're paying this player a lot of money, he's not playing, and obviously the player himself isn't happy as well. So I think for both, all parties included, it's probably the best option at the moment for him to go on loan to back to Borussia Dortmund, the club we signed him from, get some good form under his belt, be able to play with more confidence, get a smile back on his face again. And then maybe off the back of that loan move, he may be able to first force a permanent move. Or who knows, by the time he comes back to United, Ericsson Hogg might not be the manager and everything might change. But let's read the article anyway. It says here, um, Borussia Dortmund want Jaden Sancho to join them on their training camp in Marbella next weekend. Um, next week, sorry. Negotiations continue over a six-month loan for Man United. Um, Dortmund are aware that he has not been part of the matches for the past few months and is at risk. Sancho is fit, injury free and ready to play and Dortmund believe he can influence the team immediately. The majority of supporters support the transfer. He was a popular during his first spell at the club. It is a uh, full initial talks have taken place over a loan until the end of the season which would see Sancho return to Bundesliga club. May United signed Sancho for Dortmund in 2021 for a deal worth 73 million. At the moment, it's fair to say that it was a bit of a flop, isn't it? Not even withstanding all the controversy, but he hasn't necessarily lived up to expectations, unfortunately, man. Really, really unfortunate. Um, the England Nationals contract at Old Trafford is up in 2026, with United holding the option to extend it to a further year. Sancho has not played for United since the 3-2 win against Nottingham Forest at Old Trafford on August 26, after a public falling out with Eric Boss, with Boss Eric Ten Hag after criticism of the forwards' performance in training. All in all, I think it's a great move for all people, parties involved. Me personally, I would have much preferred it if the owners stepped in and told Eric Ten Hag and Jaden Sanders to sort it out. I think the stalemate went for too long. If anything, I think they're both in the right. I think Eric Ten Hag as a manager, even though I don't rate him, he has, he has a right to say that if a player isn't training well enough, that they're not going to get picked or whatever. And you can say it in the press conference, it's fair to say it, but I think he didn't, you know, he didn't expect the reaction he was going to get from Jadon Sancho. It didn't really land the way it was going to land. And maybe he was trying to get a reaction out of him, but instead it kind of didn't really land how it was meant to. It was received very poorly. Sancho decided to reply back in the, you know, in the notes app and post on his Instagram and basically said, I'm not, you know, I've been training well. The manager's lying, which again causes the question the manager's authority and makes me look a liar. And, you know, whatever. It worked out the way it worked out. So, clearly, I'm hoping everything works out and he's able to get form back on his belt because I'm a big fan of his. Personally, if it was up to me, and if you're asking me as a fan, I would much rather see Ericsson Hark fired and him back in the team than him have to go and play football somewhere else and Ericsson Hark still be our manager. Personally, for me, because I think Ericsson Hark has been such a horrible, horrible, um, you know, resounding underwhelming managerial appointment that I would much rather see him gone, especially for the bad in-game decisions he's made, poor tactical choices, poor lineups and stuff, and the faith in the wrong players. I'd much rather see him go than Jadon Sancho go, but, you know, we know how the things work here with these players and shit, so maybe it'll work out in the long run. But big up Jadon Sancho. Congratulations for escaping the Man United hellhole. Congratulations for escaping. And talking about escaping hellholes, we have another congratulations in store. Donny van der Beek is finally free. Donny van der Beek is finally fucking free. Thank Lord heavens. For whatever reason, Donny van der Beek's time at United has been absolutely disastrous. He barely plays, was not included in the Champions League squad for some strange reason. Big up wingers, dingers. Appreciate you, brother. Big up, Paz. You doing any DJ sets in the future? Big up wingers, dingers. Yes, brother. Soon, hopefully. 
That's the plan with the SoundCloud, brother. That's the plan. I'm putting myself back on the shop market. I'm like those girls in LA. I forgot what, what street it was. Those girls in LA who get dressed up in their fucking nightclub clothes and they walk up and down the street and stuff. I'm like those type of girls in LA walking down the street. I'm just put. I'm just. I'm just exposing myself out there. I'm just putting my wares out there. I'm saying, hey, choose me, please. Can you choose me? That's what I'm doing by putting up on my SoundCloud. So check out my SoundCloud. Share it with people. Share it with the world. And who knows? Knows? Who knows? Maybe I can be on a big festival stage one day in my little bra top with my little fucking hands in the air going, rah, rah, rah. who knows? Maybe I can do that, but it's up to you. It's up to you guys. You want to see me in a bra top on stage DJing with my little pigtails in? Okay, listen to my DJ mix then, okay? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Pick up Winker Stingers, okay? That's all I ask. You want to see me on stage with my little mini skirt on, right? With my little mini skirt, DJ. You want to see me do that? Well, listen to my DJ mix. Go on my fucking SoundCloud and follow me, all right? There we go. <laughs> Pick up Winker Stingers. But yeah, um, so, um, Antrak Franker signed Donny Van der Beek on loan. Antrak Frankfurt have completed the signing of Netherlands International Donny van der Beek on loan at the end of the season with the option of a permanent transfer. Van der Beek is a graduate of the Ajax famed academy and burst onto the national football scene at Amsterdam Club. The central midfielder scored 41 goals in 34 appearances for Ajax before making that transfer. After over three years, he has now set Bundesliga action on Antrak Frankfurt's six month loan. So, it's not an obligation to buy, it's just a transfer for the six months. But if I'm Donny, and I pray to God he's got good advisors. No matter if Ericsson Hall gets sacked, no matter who comes in, no matter who's in charge at United, no matter what reassurances he's given, please, please, for the love of God, Donny, don't come back. No matter what happens, don't come back, brother. This time at United, just it's just a cursed time for you. Don't see it as opportunity to go back, to go on loan and then impress and then come back and get a place. You're not going to happen, brother. For some reason, we are cursed. United is cursed. Under the ownership of the Glazers, we're not going anywhere anytime soon. You don't, we don't deserve you. You shouldn't be at the club. You're not going to get anything from it. You wasted three years of your life here at the club doing absolutely nothing, which is completely unfair. But now you've got the option. You're out. Run. Run. Play well for Eintracht Frankfurt. Do your thing and go from there. Please don't come back to United. I beg you. Please don't come back to United. Please. I beg you. Okay? That's all I ask.